Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. Today we are going to talk about two textual geometries for ggplot, namely uh, geom text and geom label. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I have created this plot. So if you have been following uh, this uh, series up to now, you probably already know everything what is happening in here. So now I'm going to create another geometry. First, we are going to deal with geom label. And first thing that we are going to provide to our geom label is aesthetics. Uh, with aesthetics, we could uh, set both uh, X and Y position, but uh, I'm going to inherit uh, that uh, aesthetics from our ggplot function. So I'm just going to use option label. Label is actual text. And what I want to plot as text, uh, it's a value of A. So if I run this code, and if you want to tweak position of your label, you could do it in two different ways. We could set x equals x minus, let's say, 0, 0,2 in order to move our uh, labels a little bit towards the left. And let's say if we want to push our labels uh, towards top, we are going to say that uh, y is going to be a plus, let's say, 1. If we run this code, but there are actually uh, two specific options that we could use. So now I am going to go outside of uh, our aesthetic function. Now I'm going to use option nudge x and I'm going to move it towards left for 0, 0,3. That's fine. And nudge on y axis for one run it now if you want to change padding uh, meaning uh, distance uh, in between uh, text and border you are going to use option label padding but in here you have to provide the function units unit like this so I'm going to use value of 0, 0,9 millimeters. Save it, run it. Okay, probably have some time. Yes, I have typo, two M's, run it. Now everything is fine. Now we are going to deal with uh, bordering radius. You see how our borders are uh, cutted. So we are going to deal with that with option label R. And in here, we are also going to provide unit function for, let's say, two millimeters, run it. And now, instead of rectangles, we have ellipses and circles. If you want to change fill color, use option fill and let's say gray, run it. Okay, this is fine. But now, if you use option color, uh, both the color of your text and color of your borders are going to be affected. If I say something like green, let me show you what is going to happen. This is too green for my taste. I'm going to use uh, custom color like this. Run it again almost the same let me see something like 22 let's try this one okay much better and you could also change a font family like this and let's say dancing script or any actual font you have installed on your system run this code and there is one more interesting option label size this option is going to affect actual border so if i say something like uh, 0 comma 2 what is going to happen really thin border but if i say something like one let's see 
our border it's ugly <laughs> there is no better expression so let's go with 0 comma 5 okay that's all about uh, geom label now i'm going to add another geometry geom text on top of all of this and the basic difference in between uh, geom label and geom text it's actually this border and fill color so with geom text you are actually going to get only text and in here we also have to provide function aesthetics with label and let's say i'm going to label actual x and let's see what we are going to get and now let's deal with other options so i'm going to use uh, these two options notch x and notch y and those work in the same way as uh, with the uh, geom label so i'm going to uh, set it let's say towards right and lower on uh, y axis run it i ah, yes this comma should not be here now let's deal with color red is going to be fine run it now if we say size this is going to affect our uh, text size three all right font family also works in here and let's use not a mono and now option angle let's say 15 degrees but this option doesn't work with geom level so you are limited to geom text or annotate function run it so guys this is all for this episode thank you for watching i hope that you have learned something interesting and please like subscribe and see ya